people. Hope y'all are all doing okay out there in the YouTube land. Just want to do a quick video about my Jimmy Hunt, rare Jimmy Hendrix bootleg album. Uh, when, me, when me and my friend Kenny were in high school, after school let out, we would go to the record store. And the first section we would head to it would be rare Jimmy Hendrix bootleg section. And just wanted to show some of these because these are over 40 years old. We got them in the late 70s, early 80s. You can't probably find these anywhere, anymore, anywhere else, else in the world. I don't think you can. Um, it's a very rare collection. So let's start out with War Heroes. Now this one's a little more common. Let's start out with the more common ones. And then just save the rarest ones for last. But this is a cool picture on the cover of Jimi Hendrix and the back is really cool and it's just the reason why we collected bootlegs is because there were different compilations they were rare they were pure not just the, the commercial stuff that's always out you can't get this anywhere you don't get these compilations of songs example on this is bleeding heart highway child Highway Child is one of my favorite Hendrix songs of all time. You'll never hear it on the radio, never play it. I love that song to death. Tax Free, if you're a Hendrix fan, you've heard of this song. Great song. Peter Gunn. Hendrix is messing around in the studio. He's always joking around and playing playing weird stuff. He, he did a version of Blues Play Shoes, too. Peter Gunn's a 60 TV show. Great, great song. Catastrophe. Oh my god, you've got to hear that. He goes, Catastrophe, you always are a part of me. It's great. And uh, oh, Midnight is a kick ass improvisational jam that just goes on and on. It's the most incredible jam I've ever heard in my life. Three Little Bears. How do you like that? Beginning and Isabella. Great record. You can find it. Grab it. Next one is now this one's X rated, so it's not for kids. It's high live and dirty. This is believe it or not, Jimmy Hendrix and Jim Morrison jamming in a nightclub in New York City. I believe it was the Steam Club. And Jim Morrison, as usual, was drunk off his ass, falling down, knocking the mic over. And Jimmy goes, uh, I think that's Jim Morrison of the, uh, of the, uh, that's great. And they're just jamming, it's raw, but it's a little too raw. So, this is not for kids. The first song, side A, is called S-H-I-T-A. I'm not going to say what that is. X-rated. No, no, in the morning, Jimmy Blues, People, People. Greatest blues song I ever heard in my life. People, People, People. From this live section in a nightclub, it's unbelievable. It's more, it's a little more common. People have, might have this out there. Put out by Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Who the hell is that? You know. And it's red vinyl. If you can grab it, find it. If not. Good luck. Okay, the next one is out of a French label called Barclay out of France. Pretty rare stuff. I mean, I've never even seen this photo before, I don't think. And still has the plastic, full back photo. Barclay. Now this has EX, oh this is Acts as Bold as Love. This is Acts as Bold as Love, pressed in France. You'll, you'll probably never see this again. Next is Jimi Hendrix second time around. Now all of these, again, I picked these up in late 70s, maybe early 80s. And you're probably never going to find these again. You might, you might have these, you might, you might but it's hard to find these. Okay, this is produced by Ed Chalpin. And if you know the story about him, Jimi Hendrix signed a record deal with him for a dollar. And it's 
early, before he became real famous. And then they owed, later, they owed him money when he became big. So they put out the band of Gypsies live at the Fillmore uh, to pay back a Chalpin, put out by Capitol Records. But anyway, this is an interesting, interesting songs on here that were put out before. Before Hendrix got real big, when he was playing the Chitlin Circuit, places like that. Next, me and my friends, we call this the Pink Album. Okay, awesome. Awesome record. Two records set. Put out by Trip Records. Got Red House, Sweet Thing, Blues Blues, Groove Maker, People People, She's a Fox. A lot of these, again, are the early stuff on the, that he did um, with Lonnie Youngblood, Sax Player, and I forget the other guy's name. I'll remember it later. But anyway, a great record. Early stuff. Hard to get a hold of this. Now, I'm saving the rarest for last because this one here, Midnight Magic, one of my favorite records of all time, out of Australia. Now the reason we collected bootlegs was because they were obscure, they were weird, they were different, you got recordings off of them that you couldn't find anywhere else. Then we would make cassettes of them and give them out to our friends. This was back in the late 70s, early 80s when we were in high school. And the back shows all these posters. But the compilation of songs on here, this is all live 1969 San Diego Sports Arena. Unbelievable. Never heard these before, recordings before until I got this record many, many years ago. All of these records are at least 40 years old. And this has all the cool old posters on the back. And so you have Foxy Lady, Purple Haze, Rudy Child, San Diego, Live, 1969. So all these other songs. Electric Church Blues, Red House, Jimmy and, and John Jam, Midnight Lightning Solo. These are outtakes. Other outtakes you've probably never heard before. Driving South, a great tune. And Sgt. Pepper. And radio commercials. Unbelievable. Where do they come up with this stuff? I don't know. In Australia. Sydney, New South Wales. Unbelievable. And now, for the, the Holy Grail, the cream of the crop. Unforgettable Hendrix experience. Unforgettable experience. Again, a bootleg. See how basic it is? That's what boot, how bootlegs were back then. There's people just putting them out just to make money, slapping them together. Whether recordings they could stick together. Now the thing about this cover is this is the day before, this is a picture of Jimmy, the day before he died. This is in Monica Damon's courtyard. Okay? Unbelievable. Unbelievable photo. How did I ever find this? I have no idea. But you'll never find this again. I don't live today. Sound word recording. 42669. Hey Joe Marquee Club. We've all heard that. 1967. Wind Cries Mary. Stockholm. Foxy Lady, Royal Albert Hall, 22469, we've heard that, that's in the movie. Another Red House from Albert Hall, here my train coming, Albert Hall. But what a cool photo. What a cool album. I just love this picture so much. Okay, people, there's a couple other real quick, quick ones for you. 
Jimi Hendrix, Rare Hendrix. Now this one's a little bit more common. Came out in the 70s, late 70s. Uh, it's an it's recorded at Al Abtone Recording Studios, New York, New York, June 10th, 1966. So this is months, just a few months before Hendrix made it big, before he went to England. This is the sessions with Lonnie Youngblood, the, Lung, Youngblood, the sax player. Now, early, early sessions, early songs on here, before he made it big. Again, good feeling, voice of the wind. Go go shoes, good times. Bring back my baby, suspicious. And Hot Trigger is one of my, me and my friend Kenny's favorite songs. It's like a spaghetti western sounding song. Now, this is a cool, pretty cool looking album. But this one's a little beat up, I'll admit. Now, but still, pretty cool uh, collector's piece. If you can get a hold of one in better shape, probably worth some money. Just wanted to show that it's a pretty cool album. Doubt if you can get it, but you might be able to. So good luck. Next one, Jimi Hendrix together with Little Richard. Unbelievable that this even I even grabbed this copy. I, I can't even believe I have this. So the whole the whole story on the side. I love how they have these liner notes, these stories about them getting together back in the day. A product of Pickwick International, Woodbury, New York. Anyway, that's, this one's a little beat up to cover, but it's in, record's in pretty good shape. Whole lot of shaking going on. Keep it knocking, it says Jimi Hendrix right on there. Going home tomorrow, Lucille. I mean, if you can get to find this, grab it. Now, for one of the most weirdest, bizarre, Pressings I've ever seen. Gloriella Du Fontaine. Lightning Rod and Jimi Hendrix. Lightning Rod was, I think this is the earliest rap that ever was. This was put out by Alan Douglas in 1984. I, gra I saw it back then and I grabbed it. Didn't know what it was, but it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's like. Hendrix playing with a rap star. Uh, I mean, it's unbelievable. Alan Douglas says right here, Lightning Rod, vocals, Jimi Hendrix, and Buddy Miles on drums and organ. So this is pretty wild. I don't know if you'll ever find this. Good luck if you can. If you can find it, grab it. Uh, this one's in really good shape, as you can tell. So anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Jam and Eddie. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.